Kathy from Parks and Recreation. Welcome back to Reactivity. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute doormat. For this project you will need the following supplies. A doormat, a stencil, paint, straight pins, a dish to put the paint in, and a paintbrush. First you'll need to peel your stencil. The easiest way to do that is to turn it upside down and then simply start pulling. The sharper the angle that you peel, the easier it will come off. You want to be careful of these little things, just leave those on for now and we'll add them later. Once you have peeled your stencil, you want to turn it over and adhere it to the mat. You can use push pins to make sure that the stencil stays down while you're painting it. At this point, you want to use the little letter details and put them onto the mat and then secure those as well. Once you're all secured and you have your paint ready to go, you're simply going to apply. You want to kind of get the paint into the mat so that it sticks. Don't be afraid to use a lot of paint, but be careful it doesn't seep underneath the stencil. Once you're done, you should take a look at it from different angles to make sure that your paint is in there and on evenly. Once it's done, let it dry a few minutes and then you can start removing the pins. You can see how it's left some of the matte blank. It is going to get messy, but that's okay. It washes off. Okay, so now that you have all your pins removed, you're simply going to lift up your stencil. Voila! See, that wasn't so hard. Now, if you want to make your own mat, visit our Rectivity page at sfsrec.org. On there, you will find the supply list, and we have four stencils that you can purchase from us. If you have a recipe or a craft that you would like the Rectivity team to make, drop us a line by email at recreation at santafesprings.org. See you next time!